We're trading right now at 253, down about 2%. How do we get to 289 if the market doesn't like what it saw this quarter, Jason? Yeah, no, I think, you know, clearly, you know, Goldman put up, you know, I think a relatively good quarter. Um, you know, for all the banks that are reported so far, this quarter has kind of been, you know, buying the rumors, selling the news, and you've seen the stocks trade off. Uh, post earnings, but we think as the year progresses, as long as the environment remains constructive, we expect um, you know continued improvement. On, an, on average, over time, you know we think both earnings growth and multiple expansion will occur here. Yeah, we are seeing the largest jump in fixed income trading, but our investors were were they just expecting a much bigger jump? And is this disappointment, despite the fact that Goldman Sachs is doing okay? Yeah, no, there was clearly high expectations on a fit quarter out of Goldman, and, and they certainly outperformed, you know, Citi, J.P. Morgan, and B of A, although they had some easier comps. And I think the bigger question becomes, while Q1 was a really strong quarter, you know, what does Q2, Q3 bring as Q1 tends to be the seasonally strongest quarter um, of the year, and there's some uncertainties surrounding that. Um, but still, you know, at our conference last September, Goldman laid out, you know, $5 billion in revenue initiatives which are just starting to see those impact results. And I think as we look out over the next couple of years, those should become a more meaningful contributor. It's been a fairly sluggish growth quarter for credit at banks generally, Jason. What does that mean for Goldman? Is that actually a good thing for Goldman in some ways? Um, you, know, it's, you know, you've seen loan growth overall be a bit sluggish in Q2. I think you know, commercial loan growth picked up at the back half of, of Q1, and, and that's actually, we think, accelerating into Q2, which is a positive for the industry overall. You know, with Goldman, you know, lending is certainly you know, one of the initiatives um, they laid out, both on the corporate side and the consumer side, as they think about the rest of the year into next, um, you know, which should help. And then you know, debt capital markets activity, um, you know, which is, has pretty tough comps, should also do well, particularly given the big pickup you've seen in announced M&A activity. As those deals begin to close you know, later this year into next, you know, many of those have to be financed, and Goldman's well positioned to participate in that, given it's the largest M&A player.